This is a Boston Acoustic MCS 160 subwoofer that doesn't want to power on and I will try to fix it. It does not want to power on. I'm removing the screws on the front panel. Front panel is now removed. Connector is now removed. Front panel looks like this. And it looks like this at the back. This is what it looks like. That's the CD3 diode. And it looks like it's fried. Connectors are now disconnected. Four screws holding the board is now removed. The board is now removed from the front plate. This ZD3 diode is really small. That's the Z3, ZD3 diode that needs to be replaced. This is the switching diode I bought from Radio Shack. This is what the switching diode looks like. I am now going to desolder the switching diode. I have desoldered the diode and took it out using this uh, desoldering bra braid. That is the new diode that I put in. And it's elevated maybe one fourth inch as opposed to uh, that was mentioned in the internet at one eighth inch. That's the soldering iron that I used, a soldering gun, and that is the soldering wire that I used. I'm gonna put the board back into its place. Now the board is back into its place and I will connect the wires. And the wires are now connected. And I will now connect the speaker wires. It will only go one way. You cannot interchange it. The speaker wires are now connected. I will now put the faceplate back to the subwoofer. It is now screwed back in the faceplate or a cover plate. And we'll see. I plug it in and we'll see if the LED here will turn on. There you go. It works. It's right up there. I think I heard something burn. I hooked it up and now it's working. Word of the year is a 
I hope you enjoyed this and helped you in solving your problem with the Boston Acoustics Subwoofer MCS 160. And I would like to thank the author of the original article at Fixia.